Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this session today we are going to see how we can scroll on a web page. So there are a lot of different applications where not all the elements are on the viewport. Now what is viewport? So viewport in the sense now think about I'm I'm trying to identify this particular element. Now you can see that this is visible on the screen right but if I scroll down you can see that element still exists but it is not now on the viewport because it is already hidden. Okay, so there are certain things that is not on the viewport. It could be like uh, towards very much right side or left side or top or bottom that you need to really scroll it. Now think about if I want to really want to identify this one. Now if you see when I'm at the beginning of the screen, I could not able to see this one. It means that that OpenJS, that particular logo is not on the viewport. But if I scroll down, then it is now coming into the viewport. So that is something called as viewport. Now for certain elements, as I told to identify that you need to scroll or sometimes let's say that if you have a big web page where you want to really get into get, scroll it to take a screenshot or something in that case you need or think about now there are certain applications as I told to make it identify you need to make that particular element appear on the viewport in the sense you need to first scroll to that element then you need to take some action on that okay think about there is a particular element where you want to mouse over and do something or probably you need to see some tooltip in that case Though you can identify that element, but if it is not present on your viewport, you cannot really mouse over and try something there, right? So it is, uh, it is required to scroll uh, for a couple of scenarios actually. Now depending on whichever the scenario, you need to really use it. And this is very handy when you are taking different actions like click or send keys, or, like set some value or else like if you want to get some text out of that. So you need to scroll to that particular element. Now for this, uh, the WebDriver.io gave this particular method. You can see scroll into view. Now this is basically applies for your element. You can see it is actually on an element but if you see on your browser you might not see that element uh, let's see that scroll view you can see because browser we don't want to scroll actually we want to scroll to make sure that uh, that particular element is coming into the view or not okay for that now let's see what are the different parameters that this scroll into view really accepts now you can see a simple syntax is that you need to identify that element dot scroll into view and there is one single parameter it accepts. If you see here now it says that a boolean value means you have to either put as a false true is the default. Now what is this actually like a scroll into view options now to understand that let's get into the MDN reference. Now if you click on this you will be moving out to here. Now let me first explain this a bit then I will give you a couple of examples. Now you can see there are three different overloaded methods are there. If you are not giving anything it, is, it means that that view option is true. Align to top so it is actually here it is accepting some kind of parameters. Let's say I want to make it as false. Now what is this? If you see if you are making it false the bottom of the element will uh, align to the bottom of the visible area of the scrollable ancestor. It means that if you are making it true let's say that I want to scroll think about I want to scroll this particular element till this element. Sometimes I want to make it appear at the top. Let's say that the maximum scroll. Sometimes I just want to make it means this open JS to the bottom of the screen. So how much I really want to scroll to make that particular logo appear. I'll show you with the examples by making it as a true or false. You will see that Th that is only like how much you really need to scroll for that particular element only for that. There is no other functional uh, requirement or functionality is there actually for that. Now there is let's say that you don't want to really make true or false. You want to leave as it is. There is another option scroll into view option. Now what is this? Now if you see that the scroll into view option is a kind of a object actually and which have these many parameters. 
means you don't want to make it as a true false but you can give these properties actually inside that as a parameter one is let's say that you want to make that scroll automatically like fastly you need to do it there is another scroll where you want to make it as a smooth scroll you mean to say that you can do a smooth scroll now the another way it will just go like this so this is the difference for the behavior now block block is actually like defines the vertical alignment and the inline is the horizontal element like i said let's say that i want to scroll till this notes okay now this notes can stay here the nodes can stay at the top of this particular uh, application actually that is what actually you are this start center and nearest all these things you can just change different uh, what you call combinations and you can see how that really works but in real time we possibly we want to make a smooth scroll okay and then we want to just leave as it is all the options so i'll show you a couple of these examples by taking different applications so that you can understand this okay so for this i will be taking this static application which we were keep on looking into that you can see that all the elements are not on to the viewport like for an instance let's say i want to kind of take the tutorials i want to take this tutorial to identify now you see that it is actually towards bottom i want to scroll till this particular element okay how do i do it let's get into this particular test so couple of code base is already there i will just show you the logic inside this now this is the web page now here what i am going to do first thing is that i need to identify that particular link now i know that link that is actually basically this one equal to and then here i will say tutorials and this one we already seen actually how to identify a particular link by using the text now here if i put a dot you can see scroll into view that's it and now i will be taking this one a simple it will scroll and then it will leave for pause for 2 to 3 seconds and you are done now let me run this particular test case and let's see npm run wdio now let's run and you can see that it scrolled and it appeared towards the bottom it was very faster now let's say that i want to make this scroll as smooth now for this if you go to the documentation you can see that behavior to smooth now let's try to do that how do you really give that so that is not a straight forward parameter right it's the property so for this you need to do behavior and then you have to do a colon and then here you need to just specify a smooth you can see that it is auto identifying those things now let's run and you see that the scroll will happen bit slower that's it so now let's run this and you can see you could able to see that scrolling happened right for an instance let's say you want to record the script actually the running while execution so that you can see later at that moment if it is a fast scrolling you might not see that record properly right so in that case uh, to see that video recording very appropriately you can just use the smooth scrolling now let's say that i don't want to do this smooth let's see that top and bottom whatever we had right let's say i want to make it as false true we have seen already how it is coming because if i'm not specifying any parameter it means that it is true now i'm specifying it as false and let's see how this appears okay so now you might not have seen that difference a lot actually but let me explain you that see i made this particular align to top as false right now what happens if you see the documentation here it says that the block is end and inline is nearest it means that the bottom of the element will be aligned to the bottom of the visible area in this sense what will happen wherever you want to scroll let's say that i want to scroll till the example now example is not there now when i make it as false right this align to top it will display it will scroll like this and it will just stay here because this is my visible area end right so that's why this element will stay towards bottom but if i'm not if i'm making this as true right this align to top what will happen it will go to the extreme top actually here 
it will go to the top so this element where exactly it will showcase or stop the scrolling that is what actually your true and false is depending let me try to scroll till this examples now let me first inspect this one and you can see that this is under an h2 id equal to examples and let me quickly get into this selectors hub and try to see that if it is only one yeah you can see only one element is present so what am i going to do here i'll first create a new test and now in this case i will be giving that h2 sorry i can directly get like this examples and let's delete everything and i will take it as a blank actually this one now there is one thing you need to remember when you are giving false right you don't have the option to use the behavior because either you can give true false or you can give the behavior okay behavior inline all those things so this is a overloaded method you can't just put false comma behavior actually because it always accepts one parameter only now let's run this test and you can see that the examples went to the top actually because i am making it as a true true means that your required element is always at the top of the screen that's how actually it went to the top now if i make it false i would believe that it will scroll only up to this much only like here it is there it will only scroll up to this much only okay in case of false let's see that okay now i'm making it as false and run and as i told that the example says at the bottom and then that is also false means the element what you, to what you are trying to scroll that will be staying at the bottom when you are making it true it will be at the top and then if you want to specify a smooth scroll you can really do that now this is on an web page right like you can scroll till like whatever the stuff you can even go to here or whatever that you want to scroll it let's say that there are certain examples if i go to this like think about if you are into a web table now if you see this particular table i mean whatever you are seeing there are actually six rows in fact there are more than that you can scroll actually these things you can see that it is scrollable actually now let's say that you want to take a screenshot uh, when your let's say that when your name is paul and this is what we are going to see in our upcoming session so that's pretty much it for today hope this session is useful do subscribe to this youtube channel and stay tuned for more updates thank you for watching